everyone, so since spring is coming to an end and summer is coming up, I decided that I would show you all uh, my spring product empties. So these are the products that I finished this past spring, so let's go ahead and get started. So I finished up three shower gels. The first I have here is this uh, shower gel from Bath & Body Works and it is in the scent Warm Vanilla Sugar. I got this during Christmas and to be honest, um, vanilla is not my favorite scent, but I do love me some Bath & Body Works shower gels because they lather up so nicely. Next two I have here are Yes to Cucumbers and Yes to Carrot shower gels. And I bought these a while back and I finally used them up. Um, I love this brand, but I don't think their shower gels are the best. I don't really think that they lather up very well, so these I will not be purchasing again. I finished up one product for my hair and it is a conditioner. And it is from Hair Trition, I think is the brand, and it is the Macadamia Oil Damage Recovery Conditioner. The smell was alright, but I don't really think that it did anything to my hair, so that was a little bit disappointing. So I probably won't be purchasing this one again. Now on to lotion, I have the Bath & Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar Body Lotion, which came um, as a set with the shower gel. Once again, vanilla is not my most favorite scent in the world, but it is Bath & Body Works, which is awesome. Next I have here is the Aromatherapy uh, Lotion, and it is in the scent Orange Ginger, and the Aromatherapy line of Bath & Body Works is just amazing. I love their uh, shower gels or body washes or whatever and their lotion. My only complaint for these um, is that it is really hard to get the last like remaining lotion that is inside here. I don't know about anyone else but I try to squeeze as much product as I can from everything. So toothpaste, lotion, conditioner, everything. I really try to get all of it out of the bottle or container that it's in. And for this one, since it is a glass container, I found that um, since it was also thick, I had a hard time getting all the lotion out of this little bottle. So that was kind of sad. I can still see some in there, but it smells so, so good. Now on to face products. I realized that I finished a lot this past season, so let's go. So first I have here is this Eskinol Pimple Fighting Facial Deep Cleanser, and it's basically a toner. Um, my mom bought this for me. I don't think that it worked very well for my skin. It's supposed to dry up pimples in as early as three days and lighten pimple marks. Um, I don't really, I don't think I saw any differences in my skin while I was using it, but it was an okay toner. Next thing I have here is this Yes to Carrots Rich Moisture Day Cream, and it is a moisturizer. Amazing, amazing um, for moisturizing your skin. Unfortunately, if you do have, um, acne prone skin it doesn't really do anything for you but if you have kind of fair skin and you're looking for an awesome moisturizer um, this I would definitely suggest this one. Next thing I have here is an eye cream from the brand Bliss and it is their fabulous everyday eye cream and I got this in like a little set that came with like other things to try out from their brand and this is my first time using an eye cream so I can't really compare it with anything else um, I do have to say that it is kind of liquidy. I don't know if all eye creams are like that. I don't think so, but um, yeah, this is my first time using an eye cream, but I probably won't be using this one again just because it was very droopy and liquidy and yeah. Next thing I have here is a face scrub from True Blue Spa that you can buy at Bath & Body Works and it is in the scent Apricot and White Tea. This product smells so good. My only complaint about this is that it is kind of... The scrub is kind of rough, so if you do have sensitive skin, it might irritate it a little bit, but um, if your face can stand rough scrubs, I guess it's okay. It smells amazing. Next thing I have here is from Neutrogena, and it is their Transparent Facial Bar. Um, this has no scent, which is good for people who are sensitive to that kind of thing, and I have to say that this worked extremely well for my skin. Alright, so I have two more things here. Uh, I have here from Bliss, and it is the Knows It Sherlock Breakout Busting Rubberizing Mask. So I've talked about this before. It comes in six packets in this box, um, and basically it's a powder that you mix in with water, and then you apply it thick on your face, and then after like 15 or 20 minutes, it rubberizes, which is super cool to like touch, and then you take it off, and yeah. I unfortunately didn't see a lot of results out of this. I just thought it was super cool how it like became rubber on your face. That was really fun. But I did not see any huge results out of it. 
Um, I did use it once a week and it was just really messy and kind of annoying to take off because if you didn't apply it really thick then um, it would get yeah, it would just be hard to take off because it wouldn't rubberize very well and the last thing I have here is from fresh and it is their sugar lip treatment with SPF 15 and this is like I think my favorite lip balm that I have ever tried and I don't think that I will be purchasing again just because this brand is so expensive I actually didn't buy this. Um, my cousin got this as like a birthday thing from Sephora because I guess they give like birth during like your birthday month or something they give like little presents. I don't know how it works because I'm not like a Sephora member or whatever. But um, yeah, she got this and she can't use certain lip products so she gave it to me. And I fell in love with this brand and this product. And then I looked at the prices and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so expensive. But I guess there is a reason why it's so expensive, because it works so well. It's so moisturizing and it feels so nice. And it just makes my, my skin, my lips feel so, so soft. Alright, so that's all for my product empties. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Tell me in the comment section down below if you have tried any of these products and what you all think of them. Alright, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you another time. Goodbye!